up? What's up, beautiful people? This is your girl, Blue Nola. I'm back in the building with another reading. I hope all is well in your world. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So, um, Black China is suing Tiger for uh, child support, right? She wants joint custody of their son, King, all right? We're going to do a reading today. Welcome, welcome to the channel. We're going to do a reading today on this particular situation. What will happen? What will be the end result? A lot of people feel like Black China's uh, quest to, you know, of course, make this transformation in her spirituality, uh, her Christian lifestyle. Some people don't feel like it's authentic. And, and we're going to pull a little bit on that, too. Um, I've watched Black China over the years, even when she had a reality show. And religion has always been something that she's tapped on, you know, or knocked on, knocked on the door of for a minute. So I think that's been her struggle between the lifestyle she was living and also her spiritual side. That's always been a kind of part of her, right? Um, similar to Krishan, where Krishan still is in that lifestyle, but she, you know, of course, you know, spirituality is something she does connect towards, right? So I think this is why Angela is, is, has gravitated towards Krishan because she sees herself in Krishan, if that makes sense. So if you've been following Black China for any period of time, you would know even on her reality show, she would go to church in between all of the stuff she had going on, whether it was her relationship, her mom, her dysfunctional relationship with her mom that seems to be better, or, you know, relationships with men, whatever the case may be, she's always included her Christian faith in some way. And Krishan is similar. So they are similar in some way. And I think this is why they connect and they identify with each other somehow. So, that's not on them, though. This is on Black China and Tiger. Now, you know, of course, she her name is, she wants to be called Angela White. So, we're going to respect that and call her Angela White. So, of course, people are saying she took to social media to sell personal items. I heard this on TMZ. $176,000 uh, that she received from selling some personal items. So, she was refusing to go back to OnlyFans because her kids are getting older. And now she's taken to suing her exes for her ex for child support and joint custody as a means to have support. So first and foremost, spirit, give me the energy around, you know, uh, Angela White, Black China. Is she being sincere in her Christian journey and her faith? You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, do question it uh, because of, you know, she kind of, kind of dwells in that gray area sometime. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's a part of people going through the process, right? People just expect, people are so judgmental. People just expect people to just be religion and that, that's it, that's it. You're going to either be on one side or the other. There is a thing called straddling the fence. This is why this word is, words are made up. Straddling the fence where you, you know, until you finally decide where you want to be. And some people continue to straddle the fence. But is her spiritual journey, her Christian journey, her journey into spirituality uh, from a, you know, Christian side, is that authentic? Is that genuine? You know, give me the energy around Black China and her spiritual journey. Is that organic? Is that authentic? She has the Nine of Cups in her messages. The Seven of Wands. Hmm. The Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles is a part of her journey. And of course, she's going to struggle with it, just like I just said. And that's okay. Listen, everybody doesn't have to, you know, make their spiritual journey the way you want them to make it or the way we think they should make it or the way society thinks they should make it, or, you know. It is amazing to me how people are so judgmental with that. You know, even with spiritual, like what I do, I am Christian and I am spiritual. This is why you see crosses here, but this is why you also see other spiritual stuff here. I merged the two, right? Successfully for me, I live my life the way I want to live it. And this is exactly what she's doing. Is Does she have a spiritual side to her? Yes, her five of pentacles is there. That represents her spiritual aspects, her spiritual areas of her life, right? Is it perfect? No. Is she going to go and she's going to straddle that fence? Absolutely. Will people love it, like it? No. This, but this is her life. She has to work through that experience, right? 
she could still be the old black China instead of this this reinvented version of her self, right? That five of pentacles in reverse aspects for me, that represents somebody who has made some improvements over time, um, right? Does that mean she's going to still, you know, she's going to, oh, you know, she's got to be religious and just strictly religious? No, she's going to have those moments where she's still going to still connect to the things that she was accustomed to, right? I definitely feel that she's looked at her life collectively in, in a big picture way and that nine of pentacles and she's seen some of the errors of her mistakes, right? Some faults that she's, she was making, some imperfections about herself, right? Um, and therefore she decided to make a change. Is this change connected to some financial gain? I agree that the seven of wands represents somebody who is going to use whatever their moment is, whatever their time is, whatever they have going on to make a profit, to turn a profit. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she started doing public speaking about her spiritual journey and her background and everything that she has going on in order to turn a profit, right? I do like the fact that she is trying to do other things like with the hair care, the hair business, and she's trying to do other things to, to, to bring in money. It isn't enough, though. She is the Six of Pentacles, and that Six of Pentacles is somebody who has too many strings attached. Be honest with you, Black China, you might want to look at your uh, your finances and really scale it back a bit, right? That Six of Pentacles that represents for you, you got too many, you know, you got too much going on financially. You're in over your head. You're drowning, right? That's what that Six of Pentacles in reverse represents. Too many strings attached and still trying to live a certain way that you know you can't afford uh if you can't afford it then that means you need to scale it back right um you know uh, that's what that represents and even if you've scaled it back a bit you need to scale it back a bit more in order to get yourself out of financial trouble if you scale it back right uh then you would actually uh put yourself in a better position um i feel like she is in a happier place um in her uh life and again she's made some improvements but again, with that message here, that still represents her feeling that she has some work to do. I feel like she's been making some good decisions thus far. So, you know, if you see her, you know, praying, but then you see her, you know, still associating with certain things, don't be so judgmental. Like she's not going to just drop everything and just that's it, cold turkey. Everybody has their own journey. I tell clients when they're going through their spiritual journey, your journey is your journey. I can't tell you how that looks for you. No one should be telling you how that looks for you. You should be getting guidance and support, but that spiritual journey is your journey to go through, right? That's what it talks about. I definitely feel like it's something that she is, that she is, uh, that, that, you know, her, that represents her passion, that represents her desire, that, that represents her willpower. Listen, you know, it would be easy for her to go back to OnlyFans, and I'm not saying that's out the window, because she does have that page of swords here. But it would be easy for her to just go back to OnlyFans. That would solve all of her problems. But for her, she is steadfast on this particular journey, on this particular pathway. You know what the word path means? People do take different pathways in life. So right now, this is her path. This is what she's chosen to do. I think that two things can be true at the same time. A person can go through a spiritual journey and still try to defense into their, with their secular lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, and, and maintain some of, you know, some semblance of balance with that until they make a decision. Will she go back to OnlyFans? Time will tell. Her page of swords is here. And that page of swords can represent somebody who is doing some talking, but then they have to go back and <laughs> do some things differently, right? Um, and that could be also to her OnlyFans. She doesn't have to do OnlyFans the way that only you know i know and she always says only fans has this negative connotation or this negative attachment to it you can go into only fans and do something different right you don't have to show everything on only fans to have an only fans black china is a big enough audience to where she can make her only fans whatever she wants to make it so with that page of swords energy people may find if she does go and do certain things that people are now deeming negative or that's not the Christian way. They're gonna they are gonna call her a liar. And she does have it in her her page of swords. They are gonna call her a liar. They're gonna say that, you know, that she is uh was all talk uh and full of crap, right? And manipulating. 
Um, and that could be some manipulation. If this doesn't work out for her, just know that, you know, she may go back into some things that people may consider hypocritical. All right. So I do feel like two things could be true at the same time. You can have a desire and a passion for change and want to change and want to do better. And she has made some strides. But my thing with Black China is we people and I don't she don't owe me nothing. But when it comes to her child support case and her child custody case, this has got to be something that people see over time, not just nine months, right? You're nine months sober. Now you have an honorary degree. You know, you're, you know, you're living a Christian lifestyle. You've made amends. This is all to me a big setup to something greater, right? I think that, especially with this page of swords behind her, I think that that's wonderful that she's doing all of this, but there's just something to that, right? Because to me, it's like, you know, it's almost like a lady, you know, when you see those movies of the women that lose their children because they, you know, that movie with Halle Berry where they lost their children because she was on drugs. And then the, 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 tell, the social worker tell you, well, you got to get a job. You got to stay clean. You got to, you know, you got to, you got to, you know, you know, go to church. You know, it's almost like a person who's trying to clean up their image because there, there's a, is, is there's a spiritual aspect to it, but there's also something else to it. So just imagine to me when I see her cards, it's like, okay, you're cleaning up your spiritual journey because that's kind of been a little bit of where you are and what you've always been doing. You're cleaning it up too because you want to win full custody over your child now that you've had your fill of fun. And now you want child support. And then on the other side, you want to create a different image so that you can market and monetize that. To me, it's just like, there's a little a manipulation going on with it. I think two truth, two things can be true. It's hypocritical, yes, but it can be true. I can want to clean up my image because I feel like that's been a part of what I've been wanting to do. I can clean up my image because I want my child back and I want to be able to say I'm clean and I'm you know I'm doing good. Um, and then I can monetize off it because you know hey this is my journey now let me monetize off of it. But at the same time, when you when you talk about child custody, people, this man needs this man, his family needs to see that you're being serious for not just nine months of your life. Like you're being serious on a permanent basis. Right. So now let's say I say all of this to segue into the custody. Give me the energy around the, the joint custody agreement that she's seeking for with her son. King, right. She's been sober for I think she said nine months. You know, will she be victorious in this child custody, joint custody situation and child support situation with Tyga, right? Will she be, Angela White, be successful in all of that? What does that look like for her? So she does have the musician. She does have the king of wands. And she does have the seven of pentacles. There's still one more. And I still, and I feel like, like I said, like I was saying before, it's wonderful to see her making all of these changes, but it's, it's very strategic that all of these changes are being made. And then, wow, bam, you know, you're asking for child custody. So with the musician that represents, OK, she's been able to adapt. She's been able to put herself in a position, but the courts got to still see that you're 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 stable, right? You can present a stable image on my you know, I've turned over a new leaf religiously. You know, I'm off the only fans. You know, I'm I'm not drinking anymore. I got a new boyfriend of four months. But with that seven of pentacles, you're out here still selling clothes to survive, right? So for me, the courts are still going to be looking at, okay, you're still not. The king is in a more stable situation with his dad. Because, you know, you need to, like, at this point, Angela... You need to get a, like, like the courts be telling criminals, you need to, like, get an actual job, right? Something that's stable. You know, it, it looks good. Okay, she did this, she did this, she did that. Boom, boom, check, 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 check. But when you're on, out here selling your clothes, you know, you got to see, remember how that looks. When you're out here selling the clothes, it still gives the appearance and the feeling that you're not stable financially, Right? That you're, you're still not in a position. And even though she's creating that to make it seem like, you know, she's creating that. Because she there is a financial struggle there. But she, and, and it, to give the appearance that she's struggling, this is why she needs the child support. 
it still makes it seem like you're not stable because you are out here selling your clothes, right? Which will make it tough for you in that ten of wands because it's like saying, okay, we still don't feel we feel you got we you've done some work, but you still have some work to go, right? So why why you know so listen, Haley Berry pays her ex child support and they have joint. So I could see what she's trying to accomplish, but I can also see the judge saying, like, well, why don't you get like a something stable, right? You know, right now you're selling hair. Um, you know, you you're doing the little show here and there. You know, like go find something that's more stable to put yourself in a stable environment. So I can see when she goes to court, even though you know they're gonna be like, that's wonderful amazing you've done great you're you're doing some you're doing the work i can still see i can still see them saying that's like she's creating an air of instability by selling her clothes right like it does look like you're still not stable enough and now you're in a you know and that's fine you're in a new relationship but i wouldn't even be bringing about nothing about no new relationship i'd be like i'm not even focused on a relationship i'm just focused on myself and getting myself together because you have time to be trying to create new relationships, but you need to be out here working, like getting to something more stable. So it's almost like creating all this fluff, but then financially you're still not stable. All right. But it's also, she does show in her messages. She's not stable enough. What happened to all her money? Cause it's like, you know, she was one of the top people on OnlyFans. You know, she was one of the top people on OnlyFans. Like what, what's going on with the money? She has the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, mm -hmm. Hero Font, Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Wasted Money, right? Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, already off the bat, Wasted Money, right? That's what that represents. Somebody who did all this work and didn't save the money, work without results, living upon beyond your 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 means. You know, wasting your money doing this, wasting your money doing that, wasting your money on clothes, wasting your money on trips, wasting your money, just wasting your money. She's wasting her money, guys. That two of pentacles is, again, wasting money, disorganized energy, right? Loss of money, loss of money, right? Um, Just unnecessary spending, unnecessary giving, unnecessary over overhead. Just a lot of, she's made a lot of mistakes with her, her financial situation. Listen, she's not perfect. All of you know, everybody on here has probably had some moments where they fluctuated, but that doesn't look good either because you weren't able to manage your money. You can blame it on the drink, you can blame it on the lifestyle, but all the money she made, she's made some money, guys. This is not like she hasn't made any money. All the money you've made, you've squandered it, and now you're in a position where you know you squandered it. She does have the four cups in her aspects, too, and again, that just talks about you know, a person who. I would also, too, say, you know, like, to me, she doesn't done things in good faith. And those are both the same, similar. Um, and even now, like, the way she's managing her situation is like, you know, if you find yourself having to sell your clothes, girl, like, you, you got to start saying, I got to find something super stable. I have to find something super stable to put myself into because I don't need to be doing that because it does look like it makes you look unstable. And this is how people can go to court and say, you know, like she doesn't, she, I need the kid. I need the full custody. This is, you know, because she, she over here selling the clothes, <laughs> you know? So I can see where she squandered her money, guys, wasting money. Um, this could be wasting money on relationships and being with friends and being out, wasting money, just wasting money on things she didn't need, you know, wasting money on whatever she, her indulgences were, right? Uh, just wasting money. So she wasted a lot of money, guys. A lot of money. And really, the bottom line is she's, you know, she needs to scale it back. Um, how's Tiger feeling about all of this? You know, like he's sitting here like, because let's be technical. He doesn't have that kid four days a week. His mom will probably have the kid. Whoever's in the household has the child. How is he feeling about all of this? But the fact is, he still provided him a stable. Let's ask the question. Has he had, has he provided the child with a stable lifestyle? And we're going to go ahead. And that's a yes. That Knight of Wands represents stability. But that Knight of Wands is also like him saying, 
I don't want to take him from what he's accustomed to and now separate him from that. So he does want to put limitation and restrictions on him. He does feel like, you know, and I'm going to be honest. Remember that statement I just made? Like China needs to be able to show over a period of time that she's stable. Not just this, uh, you know, hold on. Let me make sure I'm not hearing anything. She needs to show over a period of time that she's stable, not just to, for months, right? That three of cups is here. And that three of cups, for him, he feels like this could all be temporary. So for him, I could see him going into court and that king of swords saying, you know, for him, like, I want to see real changes. Like, she's too impulsive. Things can happen too quickly. You know, changes. She got people around. She's influenced. This, 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 that, that. By this situation or that situation, her mom is unstable. I can really see Tyka going into that situation like, you know, and, and King is already there three days a week, but I can see him fighting from that angle too, right? Like, I want to keep him right where he is. Look at this. The mom is online going nutty every now and then. Black China has been all over the place. She's only become stable in the last nine months. I'm not trying to knock her down. I'm just keeping it real. But this is what he has in his aspects here, right? Black China has a tendency to always have a bunch of weird, weird people around too, you know? Um, and that three of cups represents a different type of people that's been in and out her life, right? She has a tendency to have strangers live with her every now and then. She has a tendency of different friends in and out down there. She has a tendency to have men in and out now and then. So I can see where he would be concerned about that, right? At least with this child being with him, the child has limitations and stability and a certain you know, certain thing that he follows. But, you know, even when you see Black China on the show, the one thing always struck me is how she's always got, like, people in and out of her house. And she's fighting with the people. And, you know, she's fighting with some friend or some assistant or something's happening. She's fighting with her mom. She's fighting with the Kardashians. She's fighting with some... It is always something going on over there. Right? So I personally, too, you know... I personally, too, would have to be able to say in that decree, if they actually work something out, like she couldn't just have randoms and men and, you know, like, like I would have to meet the person, the person that you would have to be dating this person at least a solid year. Like I would have to be having some parameters around that. I mean, I know the child is over there three days a week now, but Tiger really should be putting something in place. Uh -huh. Um. Give me the energy around like the actual joint custody and because right now it looks like they may kind of keep it similar to what they have it. Give me the energy around child support for Black China. I mean, she does have them three days a week. They are in California. And I know Halle Berry has uh, got to pay child support. Give me the energy around that spirit. Child support for... Well, Black China win child support. She has the five of cups in her energy. She could be, there's a disappointment aspect there, but an agreement is coming, though. But that agreement, <clears throat> that agreement is coming. I think she has a chance to come up with some real agreement with him. She is in her messages here. Some sort of agreement, some sort, of, some sort of agreement, um, and then she also has in her messages here being able to. I feel like she's she's she'll be able to. They'll look like they'll come to some agreement. I don't think it'll be a full agreement like she wants though. But I think she'll be okay with it. But it's something about she. It, there's a there's a there's something about diminished, and then there's something about with that emperor about control and then they also have the five of cups and that can also be something around there's something that's something that happens tiger also may not be happy too because it also shows him here they both kind of show up feeling like they didn't get what they wanted out of the situation 100 percent. so just know like i do see where an agreement could be met there's a aspect here but and then there's an aspect here but they both may walk away from it feeling disillusioned a little bit. Eight of Cups energy, Page of Wands, and the Magician. Page of Wands aspects are in here, and that talks about conflict. 
So they may, they, there's an agreement that they're going to try to come through, but there's something about conflict here. So let me make sure I'm clear. Agreement here, but there's still conflict here. I don't think it'll be over, right? Like it's almost like, you know, appealing the process. So just know there's something about appealing it. Ten of Wands here. There's an agreement that comes up eventually, but there's something about appealing. So agreement here. And then they have some challenges and disagreement about what's supposed to be done. Even Tiger, there's a disagreement with him. So I don't feel like it's cut and dry. I don't feel like it's cut and dry. I feel like it's up in the air. I feel like they're going to go through a process. I think it may go through an appeal. Somebody may feel disillusioned. There's a disillusion aspect here. Five of Cups is disillusion. All right. But China, ma'am, you may want to find something more stable where you can look like, you know, you at least have stability and not selling your clothes. Okay. Sell your clothes if you want to. But there's something about almost like when they go to court and then it feels like they both are going to feel kind of a little like upset about it. But Tiger also has an element in there like he's not going to be happy with what's going on. It almost feels like they both kind of feel unhappy with the process. It feels like it's not going to be cut and dry, almost like they could have an appeal situation. Then eventually they come to some sort of agreement. That's what it shows in the messages. So it could go back and forth for a while. Will Rob Kardashian be next? Will she go after Rob Kardashian next spirit? And she is the two of pentacles. She hasn't decided to go for him yet, but that could change. The two of pentacles is he could be next. It will be a different it almost feels like he could be the next choice. So the Rob Kardashian don't get too comfortable because once she goes after Tiger, she won't come after you. So it feels like it'll take her some time to get there, but she will. All right, this is the um, reading on Black China. I feel like they're going to have some supply prizes towards the end. And even if they come to judge it, this is the ruling. I don't feel like it's over. I feel like it's going to be like some process where they, it, it can be appealed or there's an issue with it. All right, take care, stay blessed, encouraged, and power. Bye-bye.